so today's the day and first thing I don't even know if I'm actually going to be um, uploading this but I still wanted to record it and I might upload it if I just want to keep it for you know personal memories but it is currently 8.50 my hair is lovely and I don't really care right now but um, so it's 8.50 um, we're about to leave um, to go to the orthodontist for the surgery um, so what's pretty much gonna happen um, I'll explain I'm gonna put my shoes on and I'll just keep talking so basically what's going to happen is um, they're gonna put me to sleep um, and I only have for my wisdom teeth I only have the bottom ones so that's um, what they're going to be taking out so they said that the surgery should take about an hour and a half because um, after I wake up they're gonna keep me for about 20 ish minutes just to see how um, I'm doing and then I can go home Also, it should take about, I'm going to say an hour, especially because it's raining right now. Um, it should take about an hour to get to the place. Oh, focus. Um, because it is in Boca. So the appointment is at 10.15. Um, so hopefully we'll get there by 10 just to fill out paperwork if there's any. And, yep. So, let's go. So since it is an hour drive, I'm going to be taking my laptop so I can edit a video on the way. And I can't do this with both hands. So there we go. I'm going to take this and then my mask because I have to have one. And my headphones as well because I need that to hear what I'm editing. I think that's it. I'm also going to take my brush for after and I'm just going to leave my bed like this because I don't know how I'm going to feel it, how I'm going to be feeling when I come back. And there's Puggy. Sweet tea? Mm. Please? Mm. Save? Mm. That? Mm. Video? Mm -hmm. So I can send it to you? Mm. Okay. All of it. All of it. Because mm. <laughs> it's going in a video. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no. How do you look? Oh, gross. Gross? Oh, wow. I think it looks beautiful. Do you think I told you that they did a video there? Shut up. And cross it like this. And then she comes and says, And then my mom said, What? You shut up! <laughs> Picture? I <laughs> said, No, I no can't. I can't feel my lips. What? You can't feel your lips? Mm -mm. <laughs> That's just normal? Mm-hmm. Ve por la... Ve por... Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Entonces ya está. Ay, mamá. Okay. Ahora. Te vas a poner... Te vas a poner... Si te sientes tantito. Para ponerse el día los dos. Do you have water in your mouth? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, la. You... <laughs> Maria. <laughs> 
So day two of recovery and it's dark right now because um, I can't really, I don't really like the light in my eyes. It just makes my head hurt. So yesterday was the surgery at 10, I think I waited till about 10.30ish for me to be admitted in. And this is how my face looks right now. I don't know if you can tell. Um, yeah, so that's just how it looks. And I feel like I can talk a little normally, but I'm trying not to talk um, just because if I keep talking, there's just a lot of effort and my jaws will start to hurt. So right now, it does hurt. I'm not in a lot of pain. There's always like a constant pain. But um, sometimes I can really tell if there's something there um, and it's bothering me. Or other times, like right now, I'm not in as much pain. So, yep. What else? Today, I haven't really done much. I woke up around, what time did I wake up? I don't even know, maybe 9-ish. And my mom gave me jello, so I only ate a little bit of that. Um, and then one or two hours later, um, I ate a little more again. And I took the pain medication um, pill. Um, and when I took that, my head did start hurting. So I'll probably stop taking those and switch over to Advil next time I take it. Which will probably be around maybe one today um besides that i really haven't done anything except being on my phone and i can't watch like videos when i do um, my head start turning so i still can't take that and it's weird because i realize how much energy your body actually uses for every single thing that it does so that's just interesting um, I did take my vitamins today, so that didn't really affect, I didn't have, there was no side effects for that. So yeah, that's good. So next update, if nothing really changes today, will probably be tomorrow. So yeah. Wow, that looks cute. So recovery day three, just an update for yesterday. It was... I was, oh, I was able to eat uh, McDonald's fries and Chick-fil-A um, chicken soup. So that was delicious and my stomach was fine with it and so that was really good. And then around 4.40 um, I woke up with a lot of pain because the Advil had, it had already um, passed, so uh, worn off. So I took um, two more Advil. And I put, initially I put like a gauze in here because this was really hurting. There was like pressure here um, between my teeth. So I initially put the gauze there first. But then I put, I decided to put the night cream, the numbing cream. So that really helped and I was able to sleep um, really good until like 8.30 the past two days waking up. My body just wanted to sleep but this time usually on like me being healthy. I can't, I can't really sleep past like 8.39 and my body was like, okay, you're up, get up, you know. Now day three, I just showered, it's 11.20 and I just showered and that was, you know, fine. And I ate a little bit of jello earlier and what else? I took the antibiotic in the morning well, with the jello so my face still looks like this cute and this they both still hurt oh also yesterday since i was chewing for the first time and the stitches are located like in the back two corners oh another thing like my lips are like really chapped because they're like since it's swollen it's like open half the time so yep my lips are chapped most of the time but um so anyway so since the tissues are in the back two corners and i was chewing um food like obviously got back there and um this stitch started like poking my 
cheek so that was the main reason this side has been hurting more not too heavy about that so that is it for right now um if there's another update later then i'll come back here okay bye so it is currently 5 50 and i still look like a chipmunk i decided to come with my mom to Publix to get soup but i decided to go in the car because i didn't want to put a face mask on because I just didn't want anything on my face right now. I did have pain with the same thing with the stitch on the left side. So I put the anesthesia, the night cream, and that helped for a little bit. And then um, I edited a video. And then the pain kind of just went away after that. Um, but right now it's still... Right now it's kind of... The pain is okay. I don't really have a lot right now so yeah with the soup that she gets hopefully I'll be able um, to eat it if it's soft enough Cute. Okay. so my mom just got back um, from Publix and she's walking the dogs right now but I wanted to show you that she got me these really cute flowers and yeah i love them they're so pretty and so i'm gonna put them in my room when i get back home and i just love them they're so cute and yeah okay so day four yeah and it is i think yeah it's like 3 30 right now and in the morning i had um chick-fil-a mac and cheese and for lunch i had also chick-fil-a um chicken soup so that was that was really good uh, then I realized I think why my left side is hurting because when they put the stitch in they also like I'm pretty sure it was on purpose they put the stitch through a little part of my cheek just to hold everything in place and that's why it's been hurting so much so yeah and the stitches are dissolvable so can't wait for that also had sorbet and that was really good my flowers are right there so yeah, uh, I was pretty much all I've done today is just put stuff on, not Depop, on Poshmark, and that's pretty much all I've done today. I woke up kind of late. Yeah, that's all I've done today. Two more things I forgot to say. One is, uh, where is this? I think you can see it. Yeah, there's I have like a bruise right here, which I hadn't realized I had till this morning. So yeah, that looks cute. And my cheeks are still swollen, so I don't know why that's there. I don't know if I slept wrong or what's up, but yeah. So day five, and the swelling has done, gone down a little more. But later today, I'm going over to a girl's house, um, my piano studio, having like a dinner, so she's hosting it. And I'm bringing some um, like soup just so I can actually eat something because it is a dinner. So oh, my stitches, I feel like they're starting to dissolve now, which is great. I still have a little pain, well, pain on this side whenever I like eat or talk. Did I say what time it is? It's almost 12. Um, I slept in a really late today, almost almost till 10. So that was weird. I don't know. My body just needed to rest. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I'm down to my I'm down to my last three what is it the antibiotics that i have to take so i just took one right now one for the middle of the day well later today and then one at night so day six and the swelling has done, gone down a lot so yay i forgot to show since like the second day i've had this like bruise because that's where the anesthesia went and i don't know why it's gotten like that yeah um, it hurts a little bit when I touch it, but you know, nothing too bad. I still have a little pain, especially back here. This side has pretty much all the swelling has gone down, but this side, and like you can see the bruise right there, still is swollen. So I finished my anti uh, the antibiotics yesterday. Um, so I'm not t I haven't taken like Advil or anything like that. I didn't sleep with the night cream yesterday. I'm just waiting. The stitches are. I feel like they're dissolving a little more now. So. Yeah, that's good. Day 7, and it's about 8 p.m. right now. I haven't had, like, a reason to talk today because there really hasn't been anything much changed. The next time I go to the doctor, which I believe is tomorrow, I'm not quite sure, 
but besides that i don't really have a lot of pain except the same in the back where the stitches are the swelling has pretty much gone down almost all i still have bruises here and i think on that side too besides that i'm not taking any medications except for a mouthwash i was already taking that um that was prescribed so yeah it's day eight and it's almost 11. i have an appointment with the dentist at two and just to check up and see how i'm doing we're gonna leave the house at one to get there on time it takes approximately an hour to get there and one thing that i wanted to share was how i've noticed and it was kind of interesting since my body has been recovering from all of this from like the middle of the day 12 and forward i've just been i just feel like tired and like i'm usually not like that I, like i wake up and like i'm rested and i'm good for the rest of the day but since the surgery like my body's still recovering and it's just interesting how i feel tired like right now i have already feel tired and it's inter like i haven't done anything today like at all i eat breakfast and that's literally it so i just kind of find that interesting how yeah i'm still recovering from that so i got back from the dentist around 4 p.m and i realized i've been saying doctor like this whole entire time it's dentist overall he said i looked good everything was fine but the infection was gone so that's good also he mentioned like three main things the first one is the stitches that i still have should be dissolving in around four to five days so yay the second is that pain that i have because of chewing should be gone in around two one to two weeks so i can't really do anything about that but he said um, to always keep my mouth clean especially after i eat so to use some kind of wash or rinse even if it's water to constantly keep my mouth clean with that being said i think i'm going to end the vlog here because there's not much i can say or show it's been a week after the surgery i already went for the checkup just to make sure everything was okay i'm just waiting for everything to heal so thank you so much for watching if you're still watching till the end see you next time Oh,